the key differences from now to 2017 is that the long-awaited institutional investors are actually here this time around. The sentiment towards Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies has shifted from why should I have Bitcoin in my portfolio to why shouldn't I have Bitcoin in my portfolio. Also in the light of its potential role as a hedge against inflation. A few companies have announced that their corporate treasuries now include Bitcoin as part of their reserve assets. And it's reasonable to expect others to follow in 2021. With the launch of both Polkadot and Ethereum 2 last year, the staking market overall has the potential for growth in 2021. This would have some effects, for example, on borrowing and lending rates in DeFi or Ether, or lead to game-theoretically and economically interesting interactions for Polkadot and its upcoming parachain lease offerings. Of course, our world has become incredibly interconnected in the digital age. That's why our report includes insights from the top industry experts on a wide range of topics. Is the perfect macroeconomic storm brewing for cryptocurrencies? What is the future of blockchain interoperability? And what stands really at the heart of DeFi? What is the long-term vision?